from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I'm going to jam some final phone calls in here before I punch out for a day and a half for Sunday's live transmission. Really crazy video and story we didn't get to, but Colorado Sheriff search every vehicle at a checkpoint following a concert shooting. All new Android and Windows phones will have kill switch. Unbelievable. Democrats and Republicans agree Iraq needs to be reinvaded. Really bad news. Obama considers airstrikes in Syria on terrorists they fund. And we have another article. We know the whereabouts of the lost IRS emails. Very important story. That's just some of the news up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Let's go to Jordy in New York. Jordy, you're on the air. Hey, Alex. Um, a long time listener, and I just want to talk about the uh, veterans. Yes, sir. I have uh, family members who served in the military, and that really makes me sick when I see the uh, commercials and propaganda on TV, just quite frankly trying to brainwash the public. And I really have to turn the channel or just turn it off altogether because it's nothing but mind control and say, well, you know, do what we say and everything's going to be fine when really we're, they're trying to destroy us and take all of our liberties. And uh, I think, you know, the people in Congress should, you know, owe the American people a duty to tell the truth and not be cowardice and bullied by these banker criminals. I agree with you. I mean, they're cutting off the, any type of health care for the veterans and the illegal aliens get instant health care and everything else. And again, it's not about the illegal aliens. It's not even about hating these poor people, victims of globalism and corruption. It's that it's being used like a strip mining weapon. You know, water's a good thing, as I said, but high power will cut you in half. They're just spraying them at us. And they don't know. They just know they're getting a handout from the government. They'll vote as they're told. It's a nightmare situation. Good to hear from you, Jordy. Peter in North Carolina, thanks for calling in. You're on the air. Alex, pleasure to speak with you, man. Good to talk to hey, you. Uh, <laughs> and I won't be long here. I want to get you on your uh, weekend. But I guess you had, you had Stanley Monteith on the other day. Um, and after I heard your interview with him, it caused me to go to YouTube and watch a couple of his uh, speeches. And I was fascinated by him. I guess my question. Yeah, let's get Monteith on for a full hour next week if he can do it. Um, yeah, guys, guys, brilliant and, and profound. Anyway, the question to you is: He would go on a lot of the speeches and go back to Plato's Republic and and basically say how the uh, he would only teach the enlightened folks certain things and all his other students something else. But who is the head of the snake? He would say it's it's not the Illuminati. It's the it's devil. The Bilderberg. It's the devil. Exactly. That's that. Okay. How simple that is, but profound. Wow. And but but see, the devil set it up then. I say it's the devil. People run out to the churches, but what did Christ tell you? The churches of his day were where the worst people were. I mean, the one time Christ got mad and overturned tables and beat people with a whip was where? A church, a synagogue. Not even the, 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 the practitioners weren't bad. It was the people up there running it were, were, were a den of vipers, he said. And, and, I mean, you know, these churches are just horrible, most of them. I mean, they are unbelievably bad. I found a few good ones in Austin. Uh, uh, but a great point. So we're going to have Monteith back on. He's a real treasure, and I want to do a full hour. You should tell him on Plato's Republic, The Nature of Reality, maybe with uh, David Knight someday. David Knight's going to do a couple days next week. Uh, let's talk to uh, Kevin. you got about 40 seconds. Sorry the other callers are out of time. Kevin, go ahead. Oh, how you doing, Alex? Uh, I got three uh, personal incidents uh, I just wanted to tell you about that happened. Uh, make them real quick. Uh, two times going on vacation with my wife. Regular looking guy. Uh, no criminal record. Uh, jeans, sneakers, you know, crew cut. Standing on lines. TSA. Uh, you want to step out, please? Come with us. I go into a private room with my wife and my son. He was a little guy. Take off your sneakers. I'm sitting on a stool. I take my sneakers off. They're there babbling away, right? So my wife's looking at me like, what gives? I'm like, I'm looking at back at her like, I don't know. Finally, my wife gets ticked, 
And my son says, uh, Mommy, why is the other men making Daddy take his uh, sneakers off? So Stay my wife- there. I got to do more overdrive. Come back, Kevin. Don't hang up. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract, paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise, can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Coming up, it's so powerful, I've got to air Darren McBreen's uh, modern mix. It's a video mix of network. Powerful, if you missed it, the video is on Paul Watson's channel. Prison Planet Live, uh, and, and, and if you're a radio listener and want to be able to see it, uh, it's titled, uh, Are You uh, Dumb or Are You Mad as Hell? Uh, but right now, let's go back to Kevin in Pennsylvania. So they, they, they pull you aside, they got your shoes off, your son asks, what's going on with daddy? And you say, this is slave training, son. These people think they're fighting to stop terrorists, but the government runs the terrorists. This is here to train the general public that we're all prisoners and that the state is God. But but uh, let's go back to what happened to you at that point. Basically, uh, you know, my wife's ticked too, so she says, she says out loud, oh, uh, they, I think they're looking for drugs in daddy's sneakers. So they get, like, kind of embarrassed, and they go, they look at me, they said, all right, uh, get dressed, go back. Uh, second time I'm going on vacation, standing in line, you know, waiting to give the tickets to, I get pulled out of the line. I get brought up front. The guy taking the tickets says, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm going on vacation. There's two guys. Now, he, he really spoke broken English, right? There's two suits sitting in back of him. I look at them and I say, I'm an American. This guy's going to question me, and he can't even speak uh, English. I, I was like, 
it's ridiculous. All of a sudden, same thing. They felt embarrassed. They said, all right, go back in the line. An- uh, another thing happened to me, Alex, uh, about, uh, let's see, three months ago. I'm uh, on the phone, AT&T line, calling my sister, Verizon line. Uh, what happened was they shut down my wife's insurance. I was kicked. You know, the old Obama thing. So a lot of frustration, venting to my sister on the phone. I said, you know, you know, forget uh, JFK. They should uh, <clears throat> shoot somebody else in the head. And I was referring to our commander in chief. You know, you, you get heated. You say stupid things. Whatever. Hang up, blah, blah, blah. Two days later, Alex, as God is my witness, doorbell rings. <laughs> I go outside. It's the police. How you doing, sir? Okay, how are you? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's okay. And I ask why, what's going on, why are you here? Uh, does uh, shoot something, blah, 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 in the head uh, ring a bell? <laughs> I'm like, come so again? So they sent the police and not the Secret Service? Two days later, Alex, two days, and I said, oh, I said, I said, I, I go, the, uh, I see the NSA works good. So he said, sir, is everything all right? I said, look, they, they shut down my wife's health insurance. I was ticked off. Here's the deal. This, the system's so criminal. Talk to the hand. It's a felony that they're listening. Obama last week told the cops, don't tell the public what's going on. It's totally illegal. For those of us that are awake, it's meant to scare us not to speak out because they're, you know, we know what's going on. Others don't know what's going on. It's totally criminal. And Obama's a puppet. It's obviously a figure of speech. But we don't want anything to happen to him. It'll turn him into a martyr. Uh, but, but, yes, this is going on. This is... This has happened in France, where people send a text, or in America, people sent texts making jokes saying America's the bomb, and then people come. It, it, it's, it, it's horrible. So how did it end with the police? We only got a few seconds. Basically, he said to me, uh, everything okay? I said, yeah. He said, venting, huh? And I told him she had the insurance canceled. He said, oh, she did. And, uh, but see, but that, see, that but see, why are they listening to your phone? That's the issue. They're engaged in felonies. With computers listening that flag them. Ten seconds. How did it end? Uh, basically, everything okay, sir? Yeah. Uh, just venting? Yeah. Have a nice day. All anyway. right, brother. We got to go. Interesting story. Sorry to everybody else. We're out of time because I want to air this big brain piece. Don't forget, I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Tell your friends and family to listen. If they're hard to wake up, get them to tune in. We're going to have a very important transmission with reporters at the border this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Don't forget InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com for the great life-changing products that also support this operation. And thank you all for your support. You know who you are out there. Let's go ahead and go to this piece now. Prepare yourself for a perfectly outrageous motion picture. Howard Beale went up there last night and said what every American feels, that he's tired of all the bull... Six, Diana, we're talking about putting a manifestly irresponsible man on national television. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. There is no America. There is no democracy. There is only IBM and ITT and AT&T. And DuPont, Dow, Union Carbide, and Exxon. Those are the nations of the world today. And you have meddled with the primal forces of nature. And you will atone. Am I getting through to you, Mr. Beale? Why me? It was your own television, dummy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Network News Hour with Howard Beale. Can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. Well, no. we'll do it live. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. <laughs> Thing sucks. Yeah. What the hell's going on? I don't know. He just said he was going to blow his brains out. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. Congresswoman, let me interrupt you just for a moment. We've got some breaking news out of Miami. Stand by, if you will. 
right now in Miami, Justin Bieber has been arrested on a number of charges. The judge is reading the charges, including resisting arrest and driving under the influence. He's appearing now before the judge for his bond hearing. I want a show developed based